Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me, Mario Lonte NFT. I'm gonna make mix things up a little bit today and uh, I'm gonna go through some OpenSea filters. Basically, I'm gonna show you what I do. So here, we'll just take a project over here. I will go buy now, low to high, just to check the floor, quick floor price check. And then you can see, if you wanted to see how much there is to a specific, so like if I wanted to know how many there is left until a two ETH floor, I'll, I'll enter in 1.99 and then this number right up here will give me 87 so there's about 87 left and then like tomorrow for example if I was interested in this project because it's a bigger project right it's a, a bigger investment yeah I would just keep monitoring this kind of number that's a good indication another good indication would be if you click on volume traded it will give you like a timestamp of all of them so like they're sell they're still selling pretty like a pretty I would say this is pretty good per hour. So if you want to filter by traits, been getting a lot of questions about that. Instead of using like uh if you didn't want to use rarity tools or rarity snipers and you, you just wanted to like quickly check something, so we'll just grab this one. I go into the properties and we'll say the AK forty seven is his rarest property because the weapon. And we can see a quick floor check on that one. It's almost two Ethereum, which is good compared to the floor price. Um, so that's a good way to check for like specific traits. Another good, another good way, since we're talking about weapons, I would go over here on the left hand side on the weapons. And then right here, you can see how many there is. So I'll deselect the AK-47. Let's grab a rare one. So let's see. Uh, how much is the dual container? There's 90 of them. So obviously it's going to be a lot more rare. So this would be a steal in my opinion, especially as it jumps up to three, right? Uh, this project's going to keep heating up. This is going to matter a little bit more, I think, as things settle. So yeah, usually under 1% trades are very good for most projects. Not all of them. So it's you always want to double check because they could easily have the same amount. Like they could just have, we'll say in the head category, they could have a thousand of these, and they're all at like right, and then it'll show it'll still show as like under one percent. So definitely be careful with that one. But it's generally a good, good indication. Another good little uh, thing I like to check sometimes would be. Uh, which ones have offers and right here you can quickly see I guess what people are offering I guess for this project it wouldn't really make sense because the, the floor is moving up so let's take a different project sometimes I like to check if there's offers and uh, I'll compare it to the floor so right over here we'll see like a 23 23 and it just goes up from there. So 35. So these are like about 35. Oh, yeah. And I, when I filter through the activity feed, I always make sure Ethereum because I don't really want to see Polygon or the other chains right now. I'm not really investing in the other chains. And <laughs> Jimmy. And then, yeah, this is another good way to check who's buying, right? Who's selling, especially if you can recognize some of the names. We'll just pick this project. And you're seeing some influencers, big names selling out of it. Maybe it's a good idea to sell out of it, especially. But like you, you could always verify, right? If they have like, if you click on their name, if they have five of them, if they have all five listed, that means they're selling out of the project. Most likely, who knows? They might be liquidating. Obviously, like if there's a pattern, right? If you're noticing a lot of people doing it, um, or the same thing could be said on the other side. If you're noticing a lot of bigger names buying a certain project, uh, and then they have multiple and they're holding or they're listing like very high, it's generally a good indication. As I'm recording this video, this is very interesting. So I just click on the board apes and they are going again. So if we go back a little bit, you'll see a couple weath offers, but for the most part, people don't normally take weath offers on board apes unless it's a very high amount. And then, yeah, there's some big sales going on. So it looks like the market's heating back up, which is great news. I like to utilize that as much as I can. 
especially when sniping off secondary. So for example, that one that I picked up at 0 0.35 this is the floor is 0 0.5 on that one. And so it looks like it's going up. Earlier today, there was a couple of them at like the 0.35. Let's see how this guy looks like, because there's only one of them. Yeah, that's a cool animated. And then we can come over here and we use these filters too. So you can see every time it's listed, every time there's been bidded on. So here we'll just clear the bids because there's going to be a lot. It was minted a month ago. That's the date, timestamp. They listed it right away. They lowered it and it sold at 7.5. This person immediately listed it way up there. And it sold for 10 weath offer. So basically you can utilize all these metrics is uh, to your advantage, right? Here we can see the oldest, so like um, OpenSea projects, or if you're not familiar when the project was minted, you can always go click oldest, right? Click on the first one. And then it'll tell you literally the first one that was minted. Most viewed, I like highest last sale. That will give you kind of a good indication of what they're going for, like uh, the top ones. So we'll say if you did pull like um, a top 1000 and you want to like just see quickly of how much they're going for. And like if you're liquidating, you, it, this kind of gives you a good idea. Mind you, you could always double check with the uh, traits as well, like the specific traits. Because you don't want to list it too low and then you know, and at the same time, you don't want to list it too high unless you're uh, okay with waiting, of course. But if your purpose is to, to, to sell, then yeah, this would be a good way to check. Recently sold would be very similar to the volume traded over here. It just puts it in like a different menu. I guess it's more visual this way. Recently listed is another good one. So if you, you are trying to snipe off secondary and you want to see like, right, uh, especially if, or if uh, we're going in a dip or right after a reveal or anything like that, so anytime, any moments that like people are dumping, essentially, recently listed would be your bet, your best bet at picking up like a rare one. It'll it'll show up here, and then you'll be able to that's listed a little lower because it, I notice if you are in the low to high, it drops it to the floor, and you click on it, it's most likely gone already. Like it's that fast, but if they list it slightly above the floor and people aren't right they're just they're just monitoring the floor and so we'll say if it's like a, someone listed at like 0.55 the, the people that are like kind of floor sweepers i guess you want to call them they're going to miss it and that's when you would have an advantage of getting this one uh if it buys you a minute or two right to pick it up before someone else sees it kind of thing um uh, again there's a, a lot of people use this strategy so you got to be quick either way so we'll just uh, assume this one is a rare one because uh, we went through the project and we know this necklace, for example, is, is rare. So that's why we click on it. And then we can see if it's quickly worth it. So it, it does have a lower than 1% trade, but oh, look at this. I can get a cheaper one. So maybe if I'm just planning to flip, I'll just grab this one because it's got the, the lowest Oh wow, this one's actually better because it's got two under 1%. So this is actually a really good price. If you have a rare traded, so for example, this one's only 0 0.08 and you wanna see highest last sale on that specific trait is another good way to filter. And then it gives you a good indication because you, again, you don't wanna sell too low like that guy or that guy. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm not trying to, but you know what I mean? That could have been right before reveal or something or, or they, they dumped and they, they just, they weren't paying attention, but that's uh, very unfortunate because yeah, we know that they can probably get at least two Ethereum. I would say I actually like using this chart. It's pretty useful. You want to see prices at like specific dates. It doesn't tell you the floor price. It gives you an average. The floor price will most likely be slightly lower than the average. And it is definitely a good indication and you can go back all the way. It's definitely a useful tool to use. Let's see here. If we pick a bigger project, let's see how better 
the, the chart. So let's go CryptoPunks. Just because, the, yeah, that's that's going to be a fun one to go back. And let's go uh, all time. Okay, that's going to be unreadable. <laughs> but you could use your mouse and like essentially kind of check. And it gives you the date and then, yeah, kind of go through like that. So let's go last year then. So it gives you, so let's see, they had a peak in November. One, well, one sale. <laughs> 2020. Over here, they had another peak. Oh, yeah, so basically in February, they're going for around 30. And then if we just keep following the line, next jump was about over here. July was the big jump. And then August was the even bigger jump. Ah, September is even bigger. And then they're on their way up again. So this just goes to show you that the NFT market is definitely very volatile. It definitely goes up and down. In my opinion, if you have a blue chip project, there's just no point of selling for a loss because it, it's it's bound to come back up. I mean, unless the, the entire NFT market crashes, which could happen. I just don't see... You're, you're safer, in my opinion, holding these blue chips than selling and trying to catch like i feel like people are trying to catch coin pumps it's gonna be everything for today thank you so much for your time i definitely appreciate all the likes subs and comments and i will see you soon have a nice day thank you